I wanted to do something more butterfly-ish. <clears throat> I love butterflies. I don't know about anybody else, but I love them. And I'd like to do like a butterfly wing. So I have my plate here. It is a smaller plate. It's not going to fit on all this, but a lot of this will be probably blacked out because I want it to be butterfly wing-ish. So this is just going to be like a little template for me to paint. Um, what I'd like to do first is I'd like to add some um, LED UV bonder because I would like to use this. This is um, from Crystal Nails 228. It's a chameleon. It's uh, a real red gel paint pigmented color. And this is a chameleon. It goes to um, from a red all the way up to a light, light orange. And I thought that would be really nice to make it kind of like, you know, uh, a monarch butterfly type effect. So I'm going to go ahead and add my bonder. I have my tips on already, but I'm going to go in and add my bonder and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I am just uh, starting to put my color on. Now, I'm using a big, big brush, but it's one that I kind of had and I don't like using too many of my small brushes on something like this because it's hard to get this color on perfectly. I want something that's really going to spread it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this uh, chameleon color on and then um, cure it. It's uh, a little bit easier with a big brush. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cure that. And when I'm done them all, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back. Now I have this plate here. I love this plate. And I like to have my scene, or I like to look at my nails. So I like them to face me. I'm the one that enjoys them the most. So now I'm going to take my nail. I'm going to get my first one here. And I'm just going to put it on there like that. So this is just my first one. I think I'll use another one off the same plate here. Okay, and I'll use this one maybe on this one. And there's another one. I just want the outline. Okay, clean that off. I do want to continue doing those on those nails, but I want to show you something else I want to do. I have this plate. This is a clear jelly stamper plate. This one has a butterfly with wing just going on one side. I want to use a couple of these on my nails. So what I want to do is it's got a background and it's got a place for I first want to do the background in white okay I gotta clean that up take it and we'll put it on this one. So I have my butterfly wing there. I want to do the same on the other side but I'm going to finish this one off to show you what I want to do. Now with um, my colors I have my Sharpies. I have a red, a uh, dark orange, medium orange, and light orange, and I also got a black. And what I want to do is in the little thing, 
thing here. I want to put some red. And then I'm going to go around it with some oranges. Okay, now I'm going to take my white. I'm going to go over it. Scrape. Oh, let me scrape again. And I'm going to pick that up. Oh, that looks really nice. And then I am going to put that on the white image I just put there. Like that. Then I'm going to go in with my black on this other one here. And this will give you the whole outline. Of, oh, I missed some. Oh, let's just clean that off. Do a good clean. I blow on it just to make sure that my, uh, My acetone has dried and it's not stuck inside the little holes of the butterfly image. Now, just let me get this other off. Okay, now I'm going to try to line this up as best I can. I find I'm so shaky lately, it's hard for me to line up. Oh, it didn't really line very well. but. It did okay. Here, I'll let you see if you can see that. And I will be going around it with black and adding little dots as well. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to add my butterfly wings where I want them. And I will be back and show you where I'm at at that point. Okay, I've got my templates of everything I want. My butterfly wings, my butterfly wing. So that's basically what I want. So now, what I'm going to do is now is the time to go in with paint and just um, touch up some areas. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some black. around the butterfly nail. Now outside of the butterfly nail I want that to be black as well because I don't want it to look like it's not just the butterfly nail. It is just the butterfly nail that I want. There's that one and here Okay, there's funny sounds coming from my basement. I think it's my daughter. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to just um, add some black into different areas. And I'll come back and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so now I'll show you what I've done so far. Now what I've kind of done is I filled in all the background with black except for the one that's got the full butterfly wing on it. And okay. So now these are the hardest to do is these little guys here. But I usually like to do one or two bigger dots. And then I come on, I like to come in and try to get as small a dot as I can. Just because it looks way better. There. So that's on that nail. Now on my other nails, it's similar. I want to do the same thing. Except I want to make a couple of bigger dots, probably only one big dot, and then the rest is going to be small. So I'm going to go in and put in my big dot first, and 
and then literally only a couple of little dots to back it up. You kind of want your butterflies to be sporadic, like nothing too matchy-matchy. Okay, so now that I got the bigger ones on there, now I want to go in and try to make smaller ones. So something like that. I'll do the next one. Find normally it looks a little bit better if you do it in kind of clump, clumps. They look better in like little areas. So now I'll do one more here. something like that. Okay, so now I'm going to just complete those. Then of course, now that we've painted, definitely need top coat to protect them. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat. And again, this is a thermal polish, so I'll try to get you a couple of pictures of regular and thermal. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye.